Okay, we're good. Hello, my friends. Good morning. Or if you're on the East Coast or somewhere in between, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Stephanie Bernard, and I am here with my husband, Ken, and we own the company, The Stamps of Life. And I am going to, this is actually technically Stephanie's Crafting Corner. Is that right? That's right, right, babe? Okay. Stephanie's Crafting Corner. And um, the interesting thing is, is I actually really need a card today, and so it's perfect. My son-in-law, Colin, asked me if I could make a get, or if I had, he didn't even ask me, he just said, do you have a get well card? I need a get well card for a neighbor uh, that is going through a rough time and he's been in the hospital and he just got home and I want to, um, you know, make, have a card for him. And I said, you're talking to the right person. So we're going to make a get well card today. Now, as you know, if you've ever been following us very much, whenever um, you need a get well card or a sympathy card, you're really usually not in the mood to make one. So I highly recommend you always make a whole bunch when you're happy and you don't need them because then you'll have them off to the side ready to go when you do need them and you don't necessarily want to make one. So let me say hello to a couple people here. Let's see. Uh, good morning, Gloria. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lois. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Janet. Kay. Pamela. Um, hi, Mary Lynn. Hi, Frank and Sharon from sunny or sunny Oregon. Wow, we don't have any sun today here. Um, good afternoon from sunny, hot North Carolina. Deborah said, good afternoon. Hi, Rhonda in North Dakota. Uh, let's see, Rosemary from, uh, pray oh yes, praying the, the fires will be put out soon. Yes, isn't that the truth? It's been crazy. Um, Hi from Chief Joseph's Celebration Days, Rosemary said. Um, hi, Lori. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Beth. Hi, Kimberly. Kimberly's in Boise, Idaho. Did I tell you, Kimberly? We have cousins that live in Boise, Idaho. Uh, let's see. Uh, Connie's in Michigan. Hello, Lorraine. Hi, oh, um, Margaret in Ohio. Um, hi, Gloria. Uh, she says, smile to my friend Stephanie and Ken. Hello. Um, hi, Melinda. Hi, Judy. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lori. Hi, Marina. Let's see. Hello from Michigan. Uh, Wil Whitmer Leak, Jeannie says. Hello, Bonnie. Hi, Melody. Hello. Yes, you, Melody, your dad is in my prayers. He's on my list. I already, ha yes, I have been praying for him. He's on my list. So Kenny can add him to um, his list because I didn't share my list from him, from Monday to him, with him. So hi, Corinna in Maryland. Uh, speaking of Bella, so Bella is Corinna's uh, puppy dog who is just like Cookie. And Cookie had um, the vet come to visit us this time. We actually had, um, because we live in a, a, such a populated area, you can get things come to your house much easier because you know they're always in the area so we had a vet come by actually and uh she literally is under like four different medications well she got an allergy shot and then she also got um oh she was having girly issues and so she got a powder for that and then what else did she get kenny Oh, then they had to give her her flea medicine pill because I can't, she won't eat it, for, take it from me. And then also we're going to put her on a new medicine to hopefully relax her a little bit more. So hopefully that works, but we'll see. Um, yes, Kimberly says, Boise is awesome. You need to come visit your family. We do actually. We haven't seen that side of the family. Kenny got to see them at one of the shows not that long ago. What, a year and a half ago? Two years ago probably by now. Yes. Because Kirsten was pregnant and I couldn't leave. Half. Year and a half, year and a half. So yeah, but yeah, definitely. Um, let's see. Oh, Sherry says Nashville, Tennessee is breaking a heat record. Ooh, stay cool, stay cool. Connie, thank you for the reminder. Please look for uh, like and share the videos. Every time somebody clicks that share button, it helps us. Doesn't cost you anything, but it helps Facebook and YouTube know that, hey, this is quality content. Let's share it with more people so more people get to learn about us. So we really appreciate the likes and the shares very much. You look like you want to say something. Uh, well, I just thought that was kind of funny. What? Because it was quality. <laughs> so uh, it just made quality me laugh. Quality content? It, yeah, it made me smile. Oh, well, that's cute. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, babe. <laughs> is that because it's just me or do you say that about No, the just because kids? how things just go some of the time, you know? It can be this department. <laughs> your department yeah. versus my department? Or your department, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. he's pointing to things. You guys can't see what he's pointing to. He's like, this department? Uh, yeah, crazy. Uh, let's see. Um, a big issue that Stephanie's having right now. Um, Margie, yes, email um, Faylene, and I'll, she can get you that information about the vet. Um, there, it's also really good. This, um, Unfortunately, this vet is actually really good. Like, 
like if you have to put a pet down so you don't have to take your pet anywhere. So they do that mostly, I think, but they do make house calls also. Um, <laughs> was that a service they offered when they came over the other day? <laughs> no, oh gosh, you're such a jerk. Nice. <laughs> Well, I he thought you brought that up, so I just well, thought maybe no, they offered that to you. I didn't say I wanted that okay. service. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever, shut up. Okay, um, but the bad news about today. Oh, so Eleanor says yes. Subscribe too. Yes. Can you can you click her show? Because it's so funny when you say yeah. to subscribe. Um, YouTube says uh, no. Um, Rude. Let's see. Uh, but crazy part about today is Kenny was playing music. We took that baby to the park this morning. And Kenny was playing um, music for the babies in his, they have little Bluetooth speakers that I bought them that are little birds. And they're kind of, what are you looking at? I don't know. Somebody says we have a mic problem, but I don't see anything hitting, um, so. I actually have it, so it's really, yep. it's touching as little as possible. Mm -hmm. Hang Your on. Your hair's not touching, so. I only saw one person say that. So. And some, but sometimes it like also touches just my sweater because that's what it lays against. I mean, I don't, I think you need to take the little foam piece off. No, that's supposed to help. Okay. So, um, oh, Ruth said she had to put her little guy down. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's awful. But the, um, one thing I wanted to tell you is, um, I have Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. <laughs> Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Yes, it's true. Cause Stephanie cannot sing. Um, but that's great. Was it? Uh, yeah. Oh, I actually tried. But uh, that, that was, that was me trying. That sounds better than Barney that we were listening to. Oh, well, yes, to. yes. So Kenny turned on Barney for the babies. And now, um, clean up, clean up, everybody do <laughs> That's care. our song. Oh, my gosh. It's going through my head. But it's the Mr. <laughs> Sun one that's going through my head right now, which is always really, really fun. Um, really fun. And I just lost my switcher. Um, but, yes, so just a heads up. I have this going through my head. Um Let's see. Oh, Wendy said she was at the CKC Lancaster show last week. Um, we missed you guys, but there were several people who were carrying your bags and t-shirts. Wow. Well, thank you. That's awesome. That is awesome. We really appreciate that. Gloria says there's static. Now they're saying there's a lot of static. Okay. I'm going to unplug and try to reconnect it. Okay. The, let's see. So that one is yours plugged in there. Mine is plugged yeah. in. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out the, um, oh, this wasn't, wait, is this supposed to be like? A little bit tight, not. Okay, it's, it, that's. Let me try this one here. Okay. Like this seriously does touch my sweater. But I mean, it just lays against my sweater. There's like nothing I can do. Can you be above your top bar? There. Oh, how's that? That Button. might not be. That might not be touching. Try my that. Okay, we'll try that. So, um, so he unplugged a whole bunch, and we'll see. I will listen. And see what's going on here. Go ahead. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He's gonna listen in just a minute, so we'll test. Sounds good to me. Sounds good now. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe we change something. So he unplugged a couple different things, and then he plugged. Thanks them back for in. everyone for telling us. Yes. Definitely. Okay, so um, what else did you tell me I was supposed to talk about today? Uh, your hair. Oh, I got my hair done. See, they can't tell because it's back. But <laughs> um, I got my hair done, and it was supposed to be curly right it now. It was curlier yesterday. It was much curlier yesterday. I actually bought a curling iron to curl it a little sometimes. But right now, it just kind of looks like I didn't do it. It doesn't look like um, I did anything to it. But now I don't have my color lines now. They say better now. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, so, yeah, the hair doesn't really like look like much. But I did get it colored, so it's not as, as um, obvious. I went to a new person, and um, hopefully I like her. I haven't decided yet because I don't, I, 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 you know, I'm very picky about my hair. So we'll see. I don't know. But the hair just doesn't look as much as it looks more, um, uh, um, it looks more, oh, thank you, Gloria. You're always, you're just the sweetest girl ever. You know, you are always so nice to me. Um, okay. So it's so much longer. Yeah. They actually took off, um, an inch, but it was all dead in, it was an all icky it inch. So, um, she's like, your hair is not healthy and it hadn't been, it literally had not been cut for, I want to say probably over a year, 
because um, you know I had it colored but when I go to get it colored you don't necessarily get it cut which I haven't figured that out yet but um, yeah so um, yeah okay um, what I'm doing really right now I'm just kind of getting ready for me to make my card um, as you I said Colin needed me to make a um, a, a, a get well card and um, I'm just adding adhesive to the back of all of these because I'm going to uh, that's close um, I am going to need this for what I want to do. Kenny, do you, can you just like look over the questions and see if there's something I can answer while I'm doing this really Yeah, quick? I think everybody's just talking about the sun or the sound, sound? So <laughs> and the sound your hair and, the hair and since we haven't talked okay. any crafting stuff or anything. Oh, you could talk about, no, we're not going to talk about that. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that. I think yeah. I know what you're going to even yes. say. And okay. We decided oh. not to do that. So we're going to go with that. Oh, I don't even know now what you're talking about. Okay. Um, one thing uh, that, okay, so I'm adding adhesive to the back of um, some paper because that's what I'm going to do for my little um, thing to my card today. Uh, I did see somebody had an email into Faileen the other day that said that their adhesive sheets weren't very, weren't sticking. Well, you know what? Here's the best trick I can tell you. The best trick I can tell you is you need to peel it slowly. Okay, a lot of times people get it and they rip that off. Well, when you go fast, some of the adhesive will go onto the piece that you're peeling off. You want to go slow, just like that, and now you have a whole piece of adhesive, and now you're going to lay that down on the back. Or if it's cardstock, just on one side. Um, so, oh, and am I, am I out of the larger ones? Oh, I love the larger ones so much better. Darn it, I need to get more. Write that down. But for the warehouse to send me some more of the half sheets of the what else did you need from the warehouse oh there was something else oh that get well circle die I don't cannot believe I don't have that I was so mad I wanted to use my get well large circle die today and I don't have it and I'm like are you kidding me that's ridiculous so I'm just adding adhesive to all of these colors here okay um let me see let me check in uh it's so pretty much longer thank you um hi Stephanie Ken hi Lou Jean uh, oh, Corinna, I know. That picture was so funny. I loved that picture. Yeah, Corinna was posting on my Facebook, I guess. Is that how it, does, it goes on my Facebook or something? Some pictures, um, some really cool things. What is, um, what is more important, shadows or ribbons? I don't know what that means. Do you know what that means, Kenny? It was a question. Kay says, what is more important, shadows or ribbons? Well, I don't know. I don't know. That's a I need more question. clarification yeah. of these. Maybe so. um, uh, yes. I, uh, Cheryl, Cindy says, I hate coloring, but I love it now with the new markers. Can't wait for the other sets to come in. Yes. Now, the other sets, I know it's we're probably not going to have until next month, and um, but you're going to get a freebie in the bundle. Plus a flash sale. Yeah. I know it's kind of cool it helps to have tiffany be your best friend just saying just saying it helps um uh margie says can you tell me how your stamp ink pads differ from others water-based alcohol hybrid thank you yes margie ours are dye inks um minus the forever um black that one is not that's an archival um pigment ink but all of our inks are very um our dye inks and so they are going to dry very fast. Now, why did I choose to do dye inks? Because I always smudge if I use anything that takes longer to uh, dry. So for example, pigment inks take longer to dry because they're great for heat embossing if you want to. And uh, you know, like if you wanted to color or do water coloring or things like that, um, they do take a little bit longer to dry. But the dye inks are very fast and very vibrant in color. Okay. Wendy wants to know if there's any Halloween or Christmas stamps and dyes, that kind of stuff, coming soon. Yes. Actually, in that box on my... Wait, where'd the box go? There was a box right here. Where did you move that box that came in from DHL? The sample box? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. That box is full of... I'm hoping the coolest foldeds I think I've ever done in my life. <gasps> I shouldn't say things like that, but it's true. I can't wait to open it. So after the videos today, I get to look at it. But I'm really excited about that. Uh, the Kirsten bag is back in pink. Thank you, Russ. That is true. That is true. Um, when will the dies for the second set of mini pudgy stamps and dies come on the website? 
in August. Coming soon. Coming soon. Um, Ramona wants to know what is on the boys' playlist for the songs they like. Well, that's your answer. You have to answer that. I, I do. Don't know. I don't know the answer. What is that show they listen to or that show they watch on YouTube? Oh, you mean our, their playlist? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's a little dog and a little... It's a dog family. What's that? Coco Melon. No, they don't want, they haven't watched Coco Melon in They don't like watch Coco Melon months. anymore? In like three huh. months. No, it's that little dog that we just bought. Um, it's a little dog family. And it's from Australia. And so they have accents and it's really cool. But the funny thing is, is there's like this big scandal behind the scenes with all the parents because they think it's the, the Australian government puts it out. And Kirsten said that she's read that people, parents think that it's the government's way of trying to tell parents to, to um, play with their children. It's really, but it's a good show. What's the name of it? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, hi, Linda. Somebody's got to tell us the name of it. It's really, Bluey! <laughs> Carrie wins. Carrie just won a $25 gift certificate to my website because it would have killed me. Who? Carrie. Carrie Charles. Thank you. Oh, Susan, you were second. Debbie, you were third. Sorry. Uh. But Bluey, yes. It's called Bluey. So I'm like, Blue's Clues? I love Blue's Clues. <laughs> we are looking for Blue's Clues. No, it's not Blue's Clues. It's Bluey. Now, it is really, really cute. It's like, they're like all, hey, the one I watched was the little boy, the little boy dog says, hey, dad, hey, mom, hey, sister, let's play hide and seek. And they said, okay, but only if you remember to look for us because you always forget. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's something I would do. I would forget to look for people because I forget. And he gets distracted and they're all playing hide and seek. It is the cutest little show. So we were at Target the other day and they have the little figurines. And so Kirsten um, bought them and they had the little dog, Daddy. And I don't, I, I don't know what his real name is, but um, he, he, she goes, this is Bluey's dad. And Miller said, dad. And then she said, this is Bluey's mom. And she said, he said, mama. It was so cute. Bluey, Bluey. Do you see Cindy's goal up there? What's Cindy's goal? On which one? Like the fourth one down. On uh, so my goal is to eventually have everything on your website. I, Cindy <laughs> says, I love your stuff so much. My goal is to have er eventually have everything on your website. That's a nice goal. Super fan. <laughs> wow. Cindy, thank you. Uh, that is a big lofty goal. But uh, you know what? The nice thing about all of our stuff is it all goes together. So my goal at whenever I come out with something new is that you're going to use something that you bought for me three years ago with that item. So I always try to make sure everything goes together. So um, great idea. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody said any more for mini slimline. Yes, Becky. Yes, as a matter of fact. Rosemary says um, I have. Um, I need more home home decor videos. Yes, you know what? I actually haven't gotten to paint mine yet, but I will probably try to um, hook the um, overhead camera on so you can see some of that in action. Um, let's see. Any hints for next month? If I could remember what next month was. Mm -hmm. That's broken. Trying to think. Trying to remember. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. It's okay, I forgot about this one. Yeah. This one's really good. Um yeah, I have no hints for you. <laughs> But it's going to be good. And there's a couple add-on sets that I highly recommend. Luckily, I think most of them are going to be on flash sale um, because uh, they're awesome. They're very awesome. In fact, I just made a card using it for a, another project. So, yes, you will love them. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. Uh, those of you in the circus class, Make sure you finish your homework. I'm still working on my homework. Um, I, st I got them all stamped. Now I just get to go back and really color them all. Um, I showed some of them the other night. Oh, actually, this is not supposed to be there. I showed some of them the other night. What is in here? See, what happens is I demo everything. Oh, and if you guys did not pick up that, um, that special awesome deal from the Totally Tiffany Crazy Cutter set, you're going to miss out. I know as soon as they sell out. They did not sell out, which I was really surprised. But I don't think people are realizing what a good deal they are, even off flash sale. But, okay, right, so we're going to make a card. First thing we're going to do is I've already die cut using my most important die in my life. And where did I put it? Did I already put it away? I have them all over here. But all of the main card bases I keep in there just because um, 
I use them all the time. For example, here, let me just show you what I have out here. Because these are the most important dies. And how come for some reason I can't find all of a sudden the A2? No, no. Did I put it? Oh, wait. Maybe I threw it in there. Oh, well. Okay, I can't find it. But these are the main dies that I have and I never put away. For example, my regular slimline. My 5x7. My scalloped slimline and my rounded slimline. My mini slimline I do have in its own pocket because I don't use that one as often and it has so many different extra things that it comes with. So I kept I keep that off to the side usually. But I need to figure out a better system because right there is not good. I used it in my old place. I used to have it like hanging on the wall, which was much easier. But so I die cut this. Boom, there you go. Now what I want to do is I have added adhesive to the back of a whole bunch of cardstock. So um, the guy I'm making a card for, it's kind of weird to make a card for someone you really don't know, but um, uh, I, I put adhesive on the back of a whole bunch of different colors. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use, and I want it to be pretty masculine just because, you know, he's a guy. And so I'm going to use, and this is gonna be fun, I'm going to, die cut a whole bunch of these ribbon dies why don't we do the overhead so they can see these ribbon dies i love these and uh they're really fun they're very intricate because those little dots if you run it through sometimes twice they will pop out sometimes they'll just emboss if you're depending on your machine if you want them to die cut out you just run them through twice okay but i'm going to use my gemini so ha huh, i'm going to teach it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pick let's see i'm going to do um I want to do kind of like a mix match because I want it to be a whole bunch of different options. So oops, I'm going to peel these all off and I'm just going to ideally this, I will see, I should have made this a little better. So I, I only want to run through a die cut machine like three times and not 16. So look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut strips. So I'm just cutting strips. So those are all adhesived. I know and they're, it's safe and I'm just going to cut strips because I might want like two of each color, but that's about it. And this way, if I do it this way, I won't have to run it through my machine 15,000 times to get these strips. I'll just be able to do more than one color at a time, right? Does that make sense? There is a method to the madness. I'm just trying to make sure if it makes sense. Okay. And then I'm going to do the red. Actually, I got to make sure this red, dark red. Yes. Okay. So we'll do this one. And Kenny, ask me a question or something while we're doing this, because this is going to take me a second. Oh, this is one of these spots where you run out of things to talk about, well, and I have to come <laughs> up with something. <laughs> yes. Is that the point of the show we're at right now? Well, no, it's just because he's all, sometimes you take too long. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Bite me. Um, <laughs> we okay. usually have lots to talk about, but I do all of a sudden have when talk, you... Because when I have to think, When you're it's coloring or cutting, then... Yes. Because sometimes I have quiet. to think, yeah. and when I have to think, <laughs> it's not as easy um, to do this. So look, I oh. can do three colors at a time. Are you going to do the Gemini right now? Yes, I so, am. So, okay, Mary wants to know, please show the order of the plates for oh. Gemini in a future well. video. Well, you can do it now. Well, I right. can do it now, but um, who yeah. was it, Mary, that asked that? Mary, yeah. I do it um, the non-appropriate non way. I do it the wrong way, uh, so uh, do not watch uh, what I do. Everybody's going to correct you then. No, no. This way's better than what they say. I'm not following better, the manufacturer's directions. Better than what the manufacturer says. Which is like 99% <laughs> of the time I speak. No, I'm kidding. <gasps> oh, no, I'm kidding. Okay, um, sass. Okay, so here's Stephanie's sandwich. This is not the right way to do it. I'm gonna say that again. This is Stephanie's sandwich. This is not the right way to do it. For example, if you were to make a turkey sandwich, you might put your mayonnaise next to the turkey. Well, I prefer my mayonnaise next to the avocado. Now, when you eat the sandwich, can you really tell? No. But I make my turkey sandwich different than you make your turkey sandwich, but the end result is the same turkey sandwich. That is a very good analogy. I didn't even, I came up with that on the top of my head. Okay, so this is Stephanie's way to make a turkey sandwich. Oh, that air conditioning feels so good. Okay. Clear. Uh, do you want to show it from above, or is this? Uh, do do from above. I think okay. above's the easiest. Clean up my mess a little so we can see. Gloria, I thought of you when I got my workstation out. Okay, so here we're gonna make our sandwich. Ready? Frosted plate. I don't want. I don't know what you're gonna call it. I'm gonna make up names. Frosted plate. 
magnet sheet. Cutting pad. Cardstock. Die face down, right? Your die has your blade has to touch the cardstock. It's kind of a rule in die cutting that your blade has to touch the cardstock. Okay, I'm gonna lay those all down. Blade is touching the cardstock. Oops, let's switch this. Okay, and now every sandwich needs two pieces of bread. Here's my second piece of bread. Just like that cutting pad. Now I'm taking the small plates and running this through my big Gemini. Can you do that? Absolutely. I think. Shoot, it has to go this way. Darn it. Okay, but that's going to be a bit. Oh, I think one moved, but it goes through. Okay, so we're going to get that out. Oh, two moved. Or no, just one moved. And now look what we have. Ready? My top plate. It's going to go over there. I'll do the sandwich again. You guys don't worry. That one moved a little. But it might not be as bad as I think. Oh, it was bad. Okay, so we're not going to use that one. Okay, so there. So we have one strip there. Now, you're like, oh, well, that didn't cut out. But watch this. When I peel this up, the dots are going to come with it. Look. So the dots come out. Some all I might have to poke. Um, I had a huge um, on this one. I had a huge. There. See, they're coming out. I had a huge um, speed bump in this one because I did it the wrong way. Okay, so there we go. Let's get, uh, that one's done. Um, here's these two. That one embossed it more because it was like a speed bump, so that's okay. There we go. Now I'm gonna do the sandwich again, you guys, so, because I know there's gonna be people saying, wait, what? Okay, so there we go. Okay, okay. What are these dies called on our website? Somebody was asking about them. I think they're called the ribbon dies. Ribbon dyes. border dies. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Oh, you want to so show I them that real quick? To, yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead, go and switch it over. The, I love these, you guys. I love these. So if you like those dies, that's the ribbon border dies. Okay. Now, they're actually in stock. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Look Something at that. Something we're using is actually in stock. That is like a miracle. <laughs> okay, so those of you that have the big Gemini, it's the same sandwich, but I'm going to show it to you also. Just so I don't have to like, I don't know. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do the sandwich again, ready? Now again, this is not the correct way to do it. However, this is the way I found to keep my plates happier. Frosted cutting pad. Magnet sheet. Cutting pad. Cardstock. And I'm gonna put them at an angle this time so I get better cuts. Remember, you don't get better cuts. Um, you don't want any speed bumps. And, oh, how come I don't have, oh, here's blue. Um, let's see if I'm gonna fit all these on here. That's not gonna work. Okay, we'll do three at a time. Okay, and then we're gonna get our ribbon dies. Blade down, remember? Blade down, touching your cardstock. Blade down. How many come in this set, Kenny? What's that? Of this border thing. It is six dies. Six. Each die is approximately 5.5 inches, designed yes. by Stephanie Bernard and exclusive to the Stamps of Life. Whoa, you sound like a commercial. <laughs> okay, so now I'm putting my cover on top and I'm going to make sure these don't move this time. There we go. But, I now I'm, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Um, now I'm going to run this through twice because I want to make sure those holes pop out this time. Um, Usually you don't have to, and especially because I didn't have a speed bump. The speed bump's not just not going to get you. Uh, but I, but just to make sure, um, I could probably add another shim to it. But I don't like to mess with my sandwich. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Rhonda wants to know what is the name of your most used die to cut cards out? What's what do you call those? The A2. That's the A2 must have die. Um, I think you could search must have. Can you search must have? I've typed in A2 and I got a oh. whole bunch. Okay, so. so um, some of these work? Yeah. Uh, show yeah, so go oh, ahead man. and show that. Kenny's gonna show you. Um, so the one I would pick is either that swirl one at the top or the dragonfly one, um, the purple one or the green one. That one or that one, yeah. Those are, so all of those are really must haves, but one of the A2s is you're definitely going to want, and it's a 
Excuse me. So you pick the background you like better. Do you like the swirl background better? Do you like the, the whoa, you're spinning way okay. too fast. So the base is the same in the all of these. The base is the same in all of these. you can swap out the inside piece if you want. Yes. Is that right? Yeah, the don't panel? Move, don't stop okay. moving. Yeah, right there. So the swirl one, the one in the middle up there, or the one in the middle down below, or the one on the right, you're going to want one of those. You don't have to have all of them. Some of you have all of them, I know, because some of the background pieces are so awesome. But... Um, you're going to want to have at least one of those. And those are the most important dies. That's what I use to die cut my card just now. Mary wants to do the plates hold up better when you're making your sandwich that way. Yes, it makes them, it makes the plates happier. Okay, I am going to really quick die cut. Actually, no, that's not true. I'm going to put my strips on. So I just have a piece. Of, okay, go ahead and go back to me. I just have a piece of cardstock here. And my goal right now is I'm going to peel these up. And that one didn't cut very good. Is this the one I did on the angle? Oh, there. Okay. And this one embossed, that's fine. I'm going to lay this down. Just, oh, let's do it this way so I can make sure I have. You know what? I got to make sure my die fits on here before I do this. Because I have a reason. Perfect. Okay. So there's a reason behind the madness. Just watch. Okay. So I'm going to lay this down. Just like that. That's one border, right? And now I'm going to add another color. And what I'm going to do, yeah, that keeps going out. It's weird. Hmm. And I'm going to, I can decide if I want it to go up, back, up, butt, you know, butt to butt, or if I want to make a little spot here. I'm going to do butt to butt. Try to line these up as close to each other. Well, if you want no white to show, but make sure the lines add up here. So, um, Actually, I don't think it's going to matter in the end, but okay. So hang on. We're going to keep going. So um, I, you know what I need is I need an assistant to die cut for me. That would be helpful. I thought Katie was going to be that assistant. Yeah, I thought so too, but um, <laughs> she got pulled off to your department more. Yes. And now she's doing more for you. <laughs> so um, you could read their chats to me at least. You okay. Um, I, we do have a question about how can we find videos on the home decor stuff because I don't think they're usually listed on There's the play on the page with them. Like where you actually do something with them. Most of those are in crafting corners, right? Where you demo yes. them a little bit or show some ideas, right? So. Yeah, we don't have any um, too many, just 100% um, home decor. Um, but you should be able to um, uh, search on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, right? Oh, gosh. Yes. We should just have a separate section just for home I decor. I know we should. That I would be like good. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would be a good idea for us to do. Okay. Some of these dots aren't coming out. Uh, oh, this one's the bad one. Ugh. I'm going to have to die cut more. What um, Joystein says, I, I grabbed the eight drawer trays from totally tiffany is there uh -huh. an easy way to connect the trays i can't get the trays to fit remember oh, how they you get know wide what? some of the time yeah so what um Christine, what you want to do is you want to put seven trays in seven trays will fit right and then for the last tray to put in you put it in the middle don't try to put it in on the side hang on let me show you it's hard to explain and some of the time they um, fold out a little bit high. You have to give a little pressure to get them to be totally square. Or is it my imagination? Okay. Let me see one. I don't know what you're talking about. I Can know, I just show what one. I was going to talk about? Yeah. Okay. So here you have seven in there, right? And you have seven. And Oh, wait. They can't see. Above. So there's seven in there. And you're like, uh, uh, how am I? Well, now mine's all stretched out. But you're like, oh, uh, this is not going to fit. What you're going to do is you're going to move all of them off to the one side and then some off to the other side. You only have to really do this mainly once or twice because then it gets used to it. And then you're going to take this one and then you're going to slide it into the middle. And then there you go. So it's kind of weird. But they do, I mean, Kenny's kind of right. They kind of, you know, they, you're going to, you have to train them to have the sides go straight up. So then once you get it in like that though, then they're then good. Is, they're gonna work yeah, totally they're awesome, work. right? Yeah, well, I just lost my card stuck. Sorry everybody, I didn't have the overhead on there for a little bit. I was daydreaming or something. I don't yeah. know. Falling asleep <laughs> at the wheel, huh? I guess. Okay, so we're gonna have to die cut a lot more of these. Turns. Oh, we can use some likes, everyone. Today, I see the likes are really low. Oh my I think gosh. Last time we got to around 300, so let's see if we can get those clicks on the YouTube 
to be Get at least that right? yes 300 out of 350 there could probably be 50 people who don't really like us but well at yeah. least 300 should i can think of a <laughs> if they're watching along watching. This way. <laughs> <laughs> and on facebook how do you do it oh there's likes there too so any show likes them. Would be maybe great. you should show them how to do how to how to um do the likes i'm gonna have chairs. to yeah i'm gonna have to figure out how to do that myself before i well, you can just click like, can't you? Yes, I'm, I see that on um, Facebook. Yes, there are likes right there. Okay. Like, I can like everybody's comments. That's good. Like. Ooh, come over here. But, like, what else can you do? I don't know. Like, how do you like when you're on YouTube? See, how do you just see on the chat there? Well, I'm on my own page. That's why I can't like. Oh, you can't I don't think you it. can like your own page, yeah. Oh, gosh. So, if I was on the channel, there's probably a like spot for us. Oh, we're up to 180. Oh, wow. <laughs> How many people are watching now? Uh, 350. Oh, my gosh. Half. You're a 50% 50 50 approval. You might be able to be president. <laughs> we're not going there. Okay, so some of you are going to be smart, and you actually saw what I just did. Um, I actually laid an extra piece of cardstock on here to act as a shim because those dots weren't cutting out as well. You know, every machine is different. So you're gonna get yours home and yours are gonna cut out right away. Every machine is different. So that's why Gemini gives you a whole bunch of different, I mean, Crafters Companion gives you a whole bunch of different shims. I just added another piece of cardstock. That's gonna make the sandwich a little larger and that's gonna make more pressure on my die. So I'm just running it through twice just cause I want more of the holes to come out. So, um, ooh, that one's a good. Is that a good one? Help the seat. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Is this still on flash sale or did the flash sale end on this one? The flash sale should be over on, I think all of them. I don't know. I don't remember. I was on my phone when I had to do it. So I don't remember. Yes, everything is. Nope. Flash sale still on the Gemini Junior. Oh, really? And on the Totally Tiffany. No, no, it's what? Oh, Why no, not totally that? Tiffany. No, just the uh, Gemini, right? So, so hard to get good Sorry. help nowadays. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I hope they all know I'm teasing. I'm trying to get a suspension, but... Dream on, buddy. <laughs> Mr. Sun, <laughs> Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Please. See, now watch this, you guys. Ready? Please shine down on... Oh, now they're on. Oh, we're up to 218 now. Woo! We're on our way. These dots will come out. See, I get here. Poke all these dots out. Now this is going to, oh, wait, they're coming Don't out. Don't you have one of those rolling brushes? That's what somebody said, not me. Okay, because <laughs> Stephanie does not like the rolling brush. Can you just pull those out? Um, because she has bad memories. Um, Even with the other, br the brand we sell right now? Have you ever not noticed it's the exact same design? Oh, is that why? <laughs> I don't know where I got Well, I'm it. sure it is, yeah. Dang it, some of these still aren't coming. I'm going to go move to my spell binders on this one. I don't know why. There we go. And if you put your finger on the back, trust me, you guys, these dies really are worth it. Because look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It looks like ribbon. So that's what's fun. And if you want them just to emboss, then you're even halfway there. But when I want them to emboss, they don't. When I want them to just cut, they don't. Okay. Now this one kind of moved a little, but I think it's good. Ooh, wait. I'll put this one at the top. And I need quite a few of these to do this technique I want to do. I should pick all the wider ribbons though, because this will be faster. Um, so, I'm, okay, here we go. If Maybe if I pull it a little slower. Uh, no, let's try it from this side. Uh, I have dots all over my hands. We have like four more videos to tape after this too for next month, I think. Sylvia says, um, is this machine new? Uh, the, uh, the Gemini Junior is new to us. Um, it's on flash sale. I apparently forgot to take it off flash sale. Do you see what Gwen says on the uh, bottom of the Facebook side? Um, Does that make sense? Use the metal, metal. Okay, I'll use the metal one next. Okay, Gwen, I'll try it. Um, I saw, oh, what die am I using? I'm using the ribbon dies. Kenny, maybe you could show that again real quick. Ribbon, Do you still have ribbon it border dies. Ribbon yeah, border it. dies. I'll find it. And they're really worth it. It's just, I'm going to try to use the, I'll try Gwen the, using the metal shim next. I just always like to keep my, um, ooh, that can't, okay. My sandwiches the same, but these are a little bit more intricate just because there's like a thousand little dots on them. 
Okay, there. Okay, hang on. Let's try again. Oh, that darn song. That's, That's the ribbon border dies. And the stitch marks, you don't even have this issue with. Actually, I'll just do the dots because the dots are the only ones having the issue. Um, let's get red. Ooh, I don't think I have any. Oh, I don't have any of this color at all. Yeah. Hang on, where are my scissors? Okay, so let me trim some of these. So we, we'll try the metal shim. Okay, let's get that, let's get that dot, let's get that dot. And I'm gonna need a couple of these. So might as well add this one. There we go. Okay, so let's get the, oh, you know what? Stephanie doesn't even know if she has a metal shim. Okay, oh, not a good angle probably. I keep all, oh, see there's stuff down here they can't see. I hope they can't see me. Nope, it's definitely a sneak peek. What? It's definitely not a sneak, I'm sorry, definitely not a sneak not, peek. Definitely not yeah. a sneak peek. Okay, there we go. Metal shim. Go big or go home, right? Okay, so we're gonna put this in between. But you know what, you guys, it's good for you to see that sometimes I have issues too with, in general, well, in life, a lot of issues, but, uh, <laughs> um, but in general, I do like you guys to see like the good, the bad, and the ugly because, oh, that one's good, um, because this is real life, right? And we want you to always know that we don't try to hide things from you. We don't try to, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. One, well, most two, of these three, things four. you just get better at them with practice, right? Well, and then you true. learn. It's been a long time. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. But um, there we go. Look at that. Okay, so I won't need my shim of cardstock, but I do have my metal plate in there. I'm going to lay all this down. The big, My biggest issue is the moving when I transfer it. Okay. There we go. And the problem is, is I need 15,000 of these. Did you get Did it? Did you use washi tape to keep that stuff from moving or not? I could. I'm, I'm too lazy to get it out. All right. Yeah. Oh, that one I already. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. See, it's just they're so intricate, but oh my gosh, they're awesome. Okay, hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Can you go over the mat because we can't really no. see what you're oh, doing now? No, di it didn't, didn't work. work. You know what? It's better if I just do one at a time. Watch. Watch. I'll do one at a time and it'll work. Now I'm getting frustrated. Either that or I'm going to move to my spellbinders because it's a, it's a tighter machine. Okay, so I got my sandwich. I got this. And we're going to do just two at different angles. There we go. And we're gonna get another one. It's a trash. I see Linda's asking if we're gonna carry the the replacement plates. We already have those, we already right? Have those, yes, yeah. yes, Linda, we do have those. There's the regular size Gemini clear cutting plate, and then I see also for the junior clear cutting plate. It says so. Those are on the Stamps of Life website. Yes, they're both on the stamp uh -huh. so. Okay, so we're gonna move over and do the dun 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 spellbinders. I mean, I guess I could just live with them being embossed, but I really wanted some cut out. And you know how when you want something and you're like, oh, no, I don't want it to look like that. <laughs> Please shine down on me. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna be seeing that all day long. Okay. Are we gonna be on HSN in August? Yes, we are. Do you know the date? Uh, somebody told me, see, this one even worked a little better. Um, Let me do a But bug. still, it's not. I'm getting frustrated now. Um, we're just gonna leave them. Uh, I can't do that. Uh, I don't know when it is. Middle of the month, probably sometime, huh? It's like near the end of the month, actually. Oh, really? Um, I'm trying to think. I'm going to do it at an angle this time. Uh, 
I think it's like the 20th or something. I, they don't tell me. I just, they, they tell me a week before. So I just have to like jump. Well, then in. hopefully our pallet will get there on time. Well, they picked it up already. I know. Right? That's good. You didn't tell me they That's picked it up until. I gave you the tracking. Right. But that didn't mean that they picked it up. Okay. Don't talk to me about pallets and tracking numbers because we had a pallet <laughs> don't from start. someone else that don't start. they gave me the tracking number and it got delivered to someone else. So tracking numbers mean nothing in this world. Well, all I know is it got picked up and I gave you the tracking number, so okay, it's but, on its way. But that doesn't mean it's gonna get there. No, that's, that is true. Because that Just is Just because they picked it up does not mean it's gonna be delivered. <laughs> that's right. true. Okay, I'm giving up on these. They're gonna emboss. Oh my gosh, this is <laughs> driving me crazy. Do not buy these. <laughs> Well, it's frustrating me today. Okay, let's grab these. Um, whoa, whoa. Stitch ones work perfect. <laughs> my next. Kathy says she'll volunteer to be your die cut assistant. Oh my gosh, Can Kathy. you just start sending out assignments to people? And I know. Have them well, that's kind of what I did. <laughs> that's kind of what I did for the flower, um, the flower dies that are going on HSN. I begged oh. the other day, and I have been getting you samples. Begged. You guys, thank you, because I do need them. Um, I need a lot more actually. So um, those of you that have those flowers, please send them in because I'm going crazy. I need them. Lisa says we're on Monday the 23rd. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Monday the 23rd. Oh my gosh, says. you can't make this stuff up. I will we do that. like a sneak peek preview for that? Yes, we will. Oh, cool. When? Yeah, I, I think the no stuff idea. will actually, well, I'm not going to say that don't again. Don't say it's <laughs> going to be there. You don't know that. <laughs> That's true. Don't say anything. I will jinx it. You will jinx it. You will yes, jinx August 23rd, it. Monday. Hmm. Yeah, Ken. So um, you better like let your boss know that you're not going to be in work that day. That was funny, huh? Huh. Okay. So we're good. Wait, I need a red here. Hang on. Okay, here's a red. Okay, so I'm almost done. Sorry, guys. This is like taking forever. Okay. Stephanie's frustration is starting to show. Um, Let's take a deep you breath. You know what? Are you taking me to dinner tonight? Because I know it's not date night, but technically we don't have any other plans tonight. And so I was kind of thinking Olive Garden was calling my name. So I was kind of hoping that my husband would take pity on how awful this has been right this second <laughs> and um, be willing to take me to dinner. Well. Or lunch. How about a no, late lunch, a late lunch to Olive Garden. That sounds good. Okay. Okay. You have to save this card, though, Stephanie. I have, I'm going to. Oh, no, the card's <laughs> going to be no. The card's going to be awesome. I'm almost done. Look. Okay, watch. So here I have all of these strips, right? And you're like going, okay, not very exciting. But watch this. Now I'm going to take that die. Do some magic. I'm going to do some magic. All yes. right. Oh, man, that one turned out good. I didn't use that one. <laughs> uh, then I start finding all these decent ones. Uh. Okay. Uh, save them. Save them. Save them. Clean up my area. Oh, there's another good one. What? Crap. Okay, so here we have these. And what we're gonna do is another good one. Oh my gosh, driving me crazy. Okay, oh, you know what? I'm gonna peel, well, okay, whatever. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that layering die. Oh. This is the A2 layering die. And I'm gonna lay this down. Oh, I actually do need another one right there. Could this be a possibility? Kay says the different weights of paper, paper yes. all cutting at the same time is oh. the issue. That's what she says. Is that true? That could very well be the issue. That could very well. I should only do one. Okay, you're right because there's so a different. One at a so time. it's making it uneven, and so it's like it's like see seesawing. That makes a very. That's a very very good point. See, even I learned stuff. I love this. I love our community so much. Okay, so now I have all my pieces down. I'm gonna lay this down and I am gonna wash you this down because I don't want this to move. Now, do you guys kind of see the method to the madness here? Try to make it as straight as possible right there and come down just a little. And I'm going to lay this and I'm gonna tape it down because I don't want this to move. And now this is going to be my background for my card. Okay, so we're going to use the shim just for, oh, there's another die. We're going to use the shim just for fun. And we're going to, actually, we probably shouldn't use the shim. We probably don't need it. 
Okay, let's, oh, at an angle, of course. Which is gonna be interesting, Katie, because this is gonna be different weights. But it's a very straight cut, so it should be okay, right? Okay, so let's run it through. Now, I'm going to adhere that to this, but I also want to do some stamping on the inside. Oh, and a little bit more die cutting for the front. Okay. Oh my gosh, now I'm thinking about Olgern. What time are you gonna take me to Olgern? I don't know, we got work to do. I know, we got work to actually <laughs> Okay, so this actually turned out pretty decent. Hang on, I have one little, where's my tweezers? I keep moving my tweezers, oh, here's one, a pair. This is like the, oh, here's a pair. I never have enough tweezers. Um, I want, where to go? There was one that I didn't like. There, one more there. Okay, look, look at that, you guys, isn't that cool? I know, it's like fun. We need to get, okay. give away a gift certificate too or something. Okay, for the people that are still watching. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so the question is gonna be on the hair, cause I wanted to ask you guys, your guys' opinion. So on the hair, so it just doesn't look like much today. It was curlier yesterday. Next, one time I'll curl it so you guys can really see what it looks like curled. But do you like the waves or do you like it straight? There's no wrong answer. I just wanna see if like I should try to do the waves a little bit more or if I should make it more curly. But what about blonde or brunette? No, it's, <laughs> no. It, my hair will never be just one color. It's got because of the just too much gray. Okay, so you guys vote wavy, curly, or straight while I finish this, and all of you will be entered to win a twenty-five dollar certificate to the website. There is no wrong answer. There <laughs> is no wrong answer. Um, although um, Ken has not given Kenny, what's your opinion? Uh, I he like always gets in trouble with him. Yeah, well, I, it's always hard for me to adjust to change for a little bit, so mm -hmm. I'm voting straight. Okay. I knew For that. now. I knew that answer was going to be that. But, okay. but it looked nice yesterday when you came home. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Are you so, supposed to have to recurl it if you want it to be wavy? Um, well, it's funny. Hang on, i got to go off camera. Oh. It, it's funny because she said, oh, it'll stay curly for like three days. Well, it didn't, but, you know, whatever. Um, so where'd my tweezers go again? I just put them down. Um, but okay, I, I'm, because I'm nuts, I'm doing this. Um, I'm filling in, there's like two holes on the red that are really going to bug me. So I'm going to fill those wow. in. Wow. I know, I'm nuts. <laughs> well, that's why you have these tweezers. Look, it's on, it's in there. I look, I can move it around. These are my painting versions, but look, okay. Where on earth could you do that any faster? Am I right? Okay, that is just what- But wait. But wait, there's more, because look, I'm gonna do another one, watch. <laughs> Grabbed it, look, I can go like this because it holds it for me. Wow. And then I'm just going to drop it into that. Whoops. There we go. Drop it into that hole right there. Put my finger down, there it goes. So now I don't have that, we oh, and then it just took, oh, it took there. Would it help to run the dies through twice through the machine? Yes, but I didn't glue them down so they were moving. Oh, so I was trying to be way. fast, and that's what happens when you haste makes waste. Okay. Oh, and you know what? There's one over there. Let's fix this real quick because it'll make me happier. Okay, done. This one's better now. Okay, so now what we have here is we have our card that's much better now. Okay. But that's going to bug me because that's there. Oh, my gosh. I cannot win with this guy. Um, okay, we'll see. So there's my card. But now I have all these cute little ribbons, something totally different. And what I decided I wanted to do was I'm going to use this set. This is Healing Thoughts to Stamp. And I'm going to use the circle. I'm going to die cut the circle, feel better. And then I'm going to say on the inside, sending you healing thoughts. Because, you know, sometimes when you don't know who you're, like, the person is, but you want to be nice. It's a neighbor of theirs that they just want to, you know, be nice to. Always use your scraps, my friends. Please use your scraps as much as possible. I know a lot of you do already, but that's just my public service announcement for today. Because I am so tired of hearing about the paper shortage. Not from you guys, obviously. From <laughs> our manufacturers. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a paper sword. Yeah, it bugs me too. Trust me. Um, okay, where'd my ink go? Okay, so we actually have most of our colors in stock right now. Do I we think, really? Yeah, there's only two or three that are in and out right now. Wow, we're how'd doing that better. Happen? I don't know. Miracles. 
Now this is the first time I've stamped that one. And yeah, it could be better, so I'm gonna do it again. Um, so remember the first time you usually do it on scratch paper, the second time it's always gonna be better. Um, I had an old one of this, but it started to get icky, so I got a new one. <laughs> okay, so. There we go, look at that difference. Oh, perfect example. First time, it's okay, right? I mean, there's a little icky right there. Second time. Always do your first one the first time you use it, first one the first time you use it on scratch paper, and then do it on your real project and look how much better it is. It's Why does so that happen? Um, because sometimes, you know, like when we made the, used to make the stamps, like you'd get a little bit of extra residue, like not, it wouldn't get rinsed all the way from all the chemicals. Uh -huh. The, um, like the, what was the, the post-expose? Um, what, what did we used to call that acid that, that we would put on it? The last one in the post-expose machine. Do you remember? Yeah, some kind of chemicals. Yeah, <laughs> it was it post expose? No, that was the name of the machine, but it wasn't necessarily what we put in there. It wasn't the detergent, was it? Wasn't it like a salt or something? Like yeah, spraying, but spraying. remember when um, Cookie started to drink it, um, that the <laughs> worker was yelling did. at me, stop, that's, that's, um, <laughs> that's acid. So you do not bring Cookie to work. Yeah. Oh just... Remember we used to do that? So I'm using the dotted circle and I'm going to lay that down just right there. And then I'm also going to get the next big dotted circle. Do you I'm want to going pick the dot winner? crazy on this. Oh yes, please pick a winner. Okay, our winner is from Facebook and she says she loves the waves. The waves. Yeah. Thank it's you. Shelly Edwards and I want to make sure I get the last name right. Tell Poros. And I won't be pronouncing that. Shelly Edwards Tell Poros. I think I have it right. Okay. <laughs> so you just won a $25 gift certificate to our website. You are going to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life .com, And she is going to get you your $25 gift certificate. Thank you. What was like, what is everybody else saying? Um, is it half and half? Or is it? Let's see. There's no wrong answer, you guys. So I just, I cut that. I think Wavy's winning today. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. But that is not an official account. And since I get the last vote, I'm voting for straight. <laughs> you get the last vote. Is that so, That's Mr. Correct. Bernard? Um, why? Just because you're taking me to Olive Garden, you think you get the final vote? Yeah, that's why. Oh, punk. <laughs> such a punk okay so oh you know what okay well i'm gonna put this the white on there and i all my dots of course came out of this one debbie likes the smell of your stamps oh me too <laughs> oh debbie every time i open up a new stamp uh, oh okay so i'm adding can they see that oh good thank you okay so i'm adding this right there no i don't know how this is possible what? but in this episode the viewership is actually going up the longer <laughs> <laughs> that it takes to do this card because they're like oh why is she still i think maybe some people have fallen asleep and it's and just youtube just, just keeps playing oh gosh well, <laughs> I'm sorry we're gonna do one more maybe raffle. something like that i yeah. don't know we'll do one more contest in just a second and we're closing in on 300 likes we're up to 254 gosh, but i think the record the is things i have to do <laughs> to get these likes i think the record is still uh, like 302 or something. Oh my gosh. Uh, Marilyn says that I just, Kenny made me spit out my drink. <laughs> Does that mean I'm in trouble? No, that means you were funny. He oh. said something funny. What did he say? Maybe when I said I get the final vote. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> I spit out my drink too. Okay, so I'm going to pop this guy up. Just keep it long. That's what I like long. Oh yes, he does. He does like my hair long. Yeah. He's always said that. Mm -hmm. So one time I think I was mad at him and I had it cut really short. Mm. No, I don't remember that. It time. must have I'm been recent. It it's look how long it is. Shut up. I'm, I haven't been mad at you in a long time. You're like pretty much you. <laughs> no, I know. That means I just jinxed it, right? <laughs> you did. You did. Now, now my, you're my do, time is coming. Now you're going to do something that's going to really dick me off. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I was getting my hair done yesterday with a new person, and I, she's like, oh, you know, are you married? And I said, yeah, you know, I've been married 31 years, and she's like, whoa, what's your secret? <laughs> and uh, yeah, what me, is your secret? A part of me wanted to say, just don't kill each other. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm not a quitter, that's one thing, is I don't quit. 
Anybody, anybody that tells me, um, one time we did go to marriage, we've gone to marriage counseling twice in our life. I'm always very open about that. Um, the first time we went to marriage counseling though, um, uh, the uh, therapist looked at me after the session and she looked at me and she said, you guys just need to get a divorce. <laughs> like, why'd you pick him, right? <laughs> no, I thought that, first of all, that irritated the crap out of me because why would I spend time to go to marriage counseling if I wanted to get a divorce? Obviously, that's ridiculous. So obviously we never went back to her and I'm like, I'm not a quitter. I, we're gonna, we, you get through things, you know what? And another thing I did say though, Kenny, and this is really important, is I said, a lot of the things you fight about really don't matter. And at church the other day, um, Pastor Dave even said, he's like, what's more important? What you're arguing about or the person that you love? Well, obviously, if you look at it like that, Kenny is more important than anything else. So people right? are more important than Be issues. Right, right. right. Yeah. And, and that's like, that's true even like if, you, if you're in a relationship with a friend or a family member and you have different political views or different views on anything, well, do you really want to argue that point or do you just want to love that person? And obviously people are more important than issues. So um, that really helped open my eyes quite a bit um, in a different way. And so I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to let more things go because you know what? Who cares? Who cares? Um, now, it's taken me 31 years to learn that, <laughs> but I did try to tell Kirsten the that the other way. day. I just tried to say, you know what? You just got to <laughs> learn from learn from what I my mistakes and just let 99% of it go. Most of it, I mean, obviously there are some issues that you can't let go, but, you know, I, I really think that you can let most things go. Okay, so that's my um, soapbox for the day. And I'm almost done here. I just need a piece of scratch paper. Well, I always think it's awesome what? that just how God forgives us, that we need to forgive each other when we kind of goof up or mess up, right? And yeah, that's true. I think it's really important. And forgive to ourselves, because sometimes we, you know, we don't, you know, we're still mad at ourselves for something, but you just got to forgive. Sending you healing thoughts. Okay, look at this. So I'm going to add this. We're almost done with this card. And we got to think of one more question for them, Kenny. Um, you're gonna have another winner? Yep, we're gonna have one more because they've been holding on for so long. I feel like the need. Okay, sending you healing thoughts. I love that. And oh, I thought that was an icky. Oh, it's gonna be so mad. Okay, now, of course, on the back, I need to add my. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to add my. Because this is not. I'm not giving this. This is like a certain situation. Um, I'm actually not gonna stamp the back. Um, so this is a situation where I don't, um, it, it's just, it's a very, it, it, I, it, I can't give away any information because it's not my information to give, but he's got, this gentleman is going through a really, really, really horrible time and he's sick on top of that. He just got out of the hospital. So, um, I, I just want to make sure that, but there, there we go. Look at that. Okay. Let's look at the Number two. Close up. Yep. So there we go. Feel better. And I ended up getting all, you know, all the stripes I wanted, I think. And then I opened it up, sending you healing thoughts. So um, I would have preferred to say I was praying for him. But since I don't know this person, um, and it's not for me to give. I'll just do that. Okay, but there, there's my cute little card. Turned out good in the end, huh? Would have liked more dots to come out, but we'll work on that. Okay, so we need to do one more uh, raffle. Um, Kenny, have you thought of any ideas? Oh, oh, I know. I thought of one. Since we're talking about Olive Garden and my stomach is already growling, um, if you've ever been to Olive Garden, what's your favorite thing to get there? If you've never been to Olive Garden, that's okay. What's your favorite Italian dish? What's your favorite meal for Italian? Um, stamp a smile on the back, Judy said. Oh, that'd be very cute. I'll, I'll go find a smile. Um, so what is your favorite Italian dish? Doesn't even have to be at Olive Garden. So go ahead and tell me and put it in the chat. Please make sure you give us a thumbs up or a like or, and or a subscribe. You can subscribe to our channel so you get notifications when we go live. Uh, the Gemini Juniors are still on flash sale because I forgot to turn them off. Just a heads up if you want that really quick. Um, soup and salad, Margaret. So while everybody's posting their guests and maybe you want to go a review, some people have just tuned in, they don't know you. Maybe some people joined in late, you want to tell them they can rewatch this, all okay. that kind of stuff, and maybe the Die Hard special. Okay, the first so is Sunday. 
First is Sunday. Oh, you got to go get up really early before church. Yes, get signed up. Yep. Okay, so uh, hello, my name is Stephanie Bernard. Uh, along with my husband, I own a company called The Stamps of Life. Uh, if you've never heard of us, please make sure you click the subscribe button because then you will get um, updates on videos when we go live. We like to go live twice a week. Once on Mondays, we just get to sit together and I drink my Diet Coke and you drink your drink of choice and we just kind of chit chat together. On Thursdays, I do Stephanie's Crafting Corner where I actually make a card and that's what I did today. Um, let's see, as people are answering their questions on what their favorite Italian dish is so I can give them a winner, a $25 gift certificate. Uh, we have three different clubs on our website. We have the Stamp Club, the Die Hard Club, and the Kit Club. Please go to our website, thestampsoflife.com, and click Join the Club button. Now, that'll just give you a video to watch. You're under no obligation to buy anything. Just click that video and watch it because it's pretty cool, our clubs. You get a 15% discount if you're in one of our clubs. Um, off of everything on our website, including sale prices. So that's really exciting. Also, this uh, rest of the year, this is the end of July, the rest of the year we're having a special for our Die Hard Club. If you join the Die Hard Club, every, you get two free bonus gifts for joining, but you also get two freebies every month for the rest of the year. So that would be August, September, October, November, December. Five extra months, so that's 10 extra freebies just for joining the Die Hard Club. The Die Hard Club starts as low as $24.90 a month, um, plus tax, unfortunately we have to add tax, but um, plus tax, and you get two, uh, you get a, a shipment of Happy Mail every month. You get the stamp set and the die set that matches. So it's really awesome. Go check out that, thestampsoflife.com. Kenny, did you pick a winner? I did pick a winner. Yay! Our winner is from Facebook, and she says sausage soup. Ooh, it's that sounds good. Brenda Trimmer. Brenda Trimmer, you just won a $25 gift certificate to our website. Yay! Yay you! Um, you're going to email Faylene at info at thestampsoflife.com, and she will get that $25 gift certificate, gift certificate to you in the next couple days. Hopefully by tomorrow. Okay, my friends. Thank you so much. Thank you for um, staying with me all this time. Um, it was a long card today. Uh, a little bit of uh, frustration, but we got it done. But thank you all. Thank you so much for your love, your support, and your prayers. They mean the world to us. <gasps> I cut you off. Am I gone, gone? Am I dead? No, I didn't. Can they hang hear me on. Still? Yeah, they can hear you. Oh, still. okay. <laughs> Sorry uh, about that. That's okay. Technical. Uh, he's trying to figure out what happened. Uh, so you can see um, the logo, but there's our logo, there's our website. Uh, but I just want to say thank you all so much. Um, but. But they're not going to see me. Okay, we can just close. It's fine. Uh, just want to close. It's okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Um. Remember, I have, there, to let the, back. I have to let the little things go. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, but thank you sorry, all so everyone. much. Thanks for hanging with us today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and go craft. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.